Dive deep into timeless tales. Join our Bible's literature series where ancient stories come alive. Discover the Bible like never before as captivating narratives, not just sacred texts. Your literary adventure awaits. Dive into the Bible with us, a tapestry of tales and truth, where the sacred texts shape community conversation. Lecture 8, Stories of Violence and Kindness. The stories of violence and kindness in the Promised Land focus on the narratives of Joshua, Judges, and Ruth. The account of Joshua's leadership in capturing the city of Promised Land raises concern due to its depiction of violent conquests. While some interpreters try to downplay the violence or reject the book altogether, an alternative approach is to compare Joshua within the book of Judges and Ruth to understand different perspectives. The story of Joshua begins with Israelites approaching the Jordan River under the leadership of Joshua, who portrayed a faithful warrior. The conquest of Jericho, a formidable walled city, involved a procession led by priests and culminates in the collapse of the city walls. Subsequently, Joshua's men destroyed the city and everything in it, dedicating it entirely to God. Joshua continues to achieve victories, conquering the land and allocating regions to the people of Israel. In the final chapter, the people gathered at Shechem, where Joshua reaffirms their covenant with God and emphasizes loyalty and gratitude. However, the unsettling aspect is that fidelity to God is shown through violent conquests, which raises concern about the invitation to oppression. In contrast, the book of Judges portrays vulnerability and unfaithfulness within Israel. It presents a cycle of action and consequences where the people turn away from God, leading to domination by other nations. When the people cry out to God, a military leader is raised to deliver them, restarting a cycle. An example is the story of Deborah, a prophet and a judge who leads the Israelite warriors to defeat the Canaanites. However, the victory is short-lived as the cycle repeats, eventually leading to civil war and the destruction within Israel. The story of Samson and Judges demonstrates a different role of violence as it became a tool for personal revenge rather than a response to a national crisis. Samson's acts of violence against the Philistines escalate, ultimately resulting in his own downfall and the destruction of his enemies. The book culminates in a disturbing episode where violence turns inward, leading to a brutal war within Israel and the threat to their own society. On the other hand, the book of Ruth presents a narrative of kindness and openness to outsiders. The story revolves around Ruth, a Moabite woman, who remains loyal to her mother-in-law, Naomi, and accompanies her to Bethlehem. Through the series of events, 
Ruth became part of the Israelite community and ultimately finds redemption and a place in the lineage of King David. By examining these three perspectives side by side, the lecture aims to explore the meaning and implication of violence and kindness in the context of promised land. Stay enthralled with epic sagas and ageless wisdom. Continue with us in our Bible as Literature series, Unearth Stories and Symbols in a Fresh Literary Light. The next chapter of your riveting journey is just around the corner. As we reach the close of today's exploration of violence and kindness in the Promised Land, we have journeyed through the conflicting tales of Joshua's conquest, the turbulent cycle of Judges, and the redemptive narrative of Ruth. We have seen the depth of human action and the height of divine grace. But our story doesn't end here. The canvas of history is vast, and its colors are both vivid and dark. Join us in our next episode as we turn the pages to a new chapter, the saga of King Saul, Israel's first anointed leader, whose reign heralds the dawn of a kingdom, but ultimately descends into tragedy. From the final whispers of an era governed by judges, to the thunderous fall of a monarchist founder, we will witness the ascent of a humble farmer to the throne and his faithful struggle with the shadow of destiny. It's a tale of power, prophecy, and pathos, narrative that will challenge what we understand about leadership and the frailties of the human heart. So stay with us, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to ensure you don't miss episode 9. King Saul, the tragic Israelite king. As we recount the lessons from the past, may we glean wisdom for the present. Until next time, keep pondering the stories that have shaped us. Thank you for joining us today, and I look forward to continuing our journey through history together.